In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom size for your rows and columns here in Google Sheets. So in my example data right here, what I'm trying to do is to resize my columns and rows so that I will have a printable layout for my barcodes. So I'm going to start with my rows. What I can do first is to select all the rows that have my barcodes in. So that's row number three. And to select rows that are not next to each other, what you're going to do is to hold on to the control key in your keyboard, then go ahead and select those cells or those rows. So I'm going to select row number three, row number six, nine, 12 and 15. Now I can release the control key on the keyboard. I've selected all the rows that I need to resize. Now what I'm going to do is to right click on the last row that I've selected right click on it and you'll see we have resize selected rows once you click on that you'll have the option to put in the number for your specific row height now by default the size of our rows are 21 so if we enter another number let's say 50 click on ok there we have it we have equally resized all those selected rows right here now if you want to change that again just right click on it Go back to resize selected rows. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's try 60. Click on OK. And there you have it. Now time for our columns. So again, we're going to do the same thing in selecting our columns. Just hold on to the control key on your keyboard. Then go ahead and select those columns. So I've selected column B and C, which are next to each other. Then column F and G. Release that control key. Again, right click on the last row that you've selected and select resize selected columns. And there we have it. Again, we can enter our new column width in pixels. The default number is 100. We're going to change it to 200. Click on OK. And there we have it. So now we have ample space for our barcodes. They will definitely not be overlapping with each other. Let's just have a better view. Let's zoom out to 75%. And there you have it. So that's how to enter your custom size for your rows and columns. Again, what you're going to do is to select them, right click on them, and you'll have the option of resize column right here. The same with your rows. Select that row, right click on it, and select resize row right here. And that's how to create a custom size for your rows and columns here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.